Looking to fix your exhaust system cheap and easy? Well, here's a few techniques you may find interesting. Now, if the exhaust leak is before the catalytic converter, it's going to be a little more challenging, but I'm going to show you some real low-cost techniques you can use that'll work like a champ. I'll also go through some techniques that don't work, and I'll explain why they don't work. Now, if you've got a leak before the catalytic converter, you're going to need to use sodium silicate. This stuff holds temperatures up to 2,000 degrees, but it's brittle. If you put this into a hole or a crack, you're going to hit a bump and this stuff will come right out. So you got to know how to work with this stuff. You can find this sodium silicate in a lot of places and it's cheap. This is furnace cement. It's about $4 for this entire tub. So you got to be able to get this to stick and hold into place. Now we're going to use this Harbor Freight welder. Now to fix this, you don't have to be a good welder. Now when you see this weld, you're going to laugh until you hear how quiet it is when we're done here. See what we're doing here is we're just filling in this hole with little steel balls. This weld is rough and when you turn on the car it's going to be as loud as it was before. But when we apply the silicon silicate to this structure, this structure is going to give it something to stick to. Just take a look at this hole. So I ground it off to get everything clean and then just stitched it up with the welder. Then you just put on the furnace cement. This furnace cement is designed to stick to steel. And this steel structure is strong enough to hold everything together. Then the furnace cement seals it all up. So it takes about five or 10 minutes to weld it up. Then you heat up that exhaust pipe and then just spread it on. Silicon silicate is called liquid glass. Sometimes you can get this in black instead of tan and it just blends right in. Now this can irritate your skin so you do want to use gloves. And this stuff handles heat like a champ. 2000 degrees, no problem. And this system gets nowhere near that. Now, if you put some black spray paint on there, you won't even see it. Now there's all kinds of other things you can try. You might want to take some JB Weld and put it on there. But if you put it on before the catalytic converter, it's just gonna burn right off. It might last a couple days and smell terrible. Now, sometimes this silicone will work. It doesn't stick that well and it kind of blows through, but I have had it work in some cases. But the silicon silicate works. Now, if your hole is behind the catalytic converter, that opens a lot more options up. The heat is much lower behind the catalytic converter. You could take some Bondo, put it on a plastic bag. This will give you a nice even coating. This repair is almost invisible and will last two or three years. Now a hole may blow out in another area. You can do the same repair or just decide to put a whole new muffler on. For me, a patch like this works, I'll save the 300 bucks. With these techniques, I haven't put an exhaust system on any of our cars for about 20 years. And yes, we've got all kinds of state inspections. One time the mechanic saw it and just laughed. He still passed the car because it's sealed. If the exhaust holds a pressure test, it passes. And a little black paint, and you don't even see Now it. I know, there's going to be a lot of folks that are going to say, do it right or don't do it at all. For five or 10 bucks, this is holding pressure, even at high temperatures. Now for me, this is not a show car. This is a daily driver. So I'll take the money that I save and I'll buy fishing poles or something. And instead of having somebody put a new muffler on for three or 400 bucks, a welder costs about $100. Now I realize this isn't the prettiest job. Now if pretty is a requirement, go ahead and buy a new exhaust system. For me, I just want my exhaust system sealed up. Now there's never a day that I don't learn something new. Now I'm always looking for new ways to do something. If you've got some ideas on how to seal up your exhaust system, I would love to hear about it. And if you totally disagree, go ahead and put those comments down there too. Well anyway, if you have an exhaust leak before or after the catalytic converter, here's a few techniques that I've used that work. Well I hope you found these techniques useful, or at least entertaining. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.